new millennium. Friday at 9, 8 central on Fox. Parental discretion advised. Now it's time to review tonight's stories to determine which of them were inspired by actual events and which of them were totally false. Let's start with the tale of the parents who discover their teenage son has been hiding swears in jars. I found this under his bed. Shit. I just, where did he learn such a thing? I'll take care of it. Where did he learn such a thing? Could jars really hold profanities inside of them? Or are we just mason around? It's true. It really happened. What about the man who accidentally enclosed his own hand inside of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Could that have really happened? thought this one was based on actual events, we got gotcha. you. The boys in the writer's room fluffed this story up. How about the seemingly ordinary digital clock whose interface just happened to read one, two, three, and four? Did we make this one up? Yep, a complete fake. It's impossible. What did you make of the tale of the mailman who was attacked by his own mail? Did we deliver the truth? It's true. Similar events happened in Florida just last week. What about the tale of the automobile that had a license plate that read, ass? Ass? But ass died five years ago. What do you think? Did this one really occur? Not this time. It never happened. What about the story of the multi-millionaire who brought dinosaurs back from extinction using cloning technology? Was that true? Or a cold-blooded fabrication? Could this one have really happened? It's true. A similar event occurred. I saw it. Let's look back at the careless gravedigger who was followed home by a vengeful skeleton. <laughs> was that real or were we barking up the wrong tree? False. It's bullshit. Do you remember the tale of the Toad Man from back in 1984? He ate everyone in his village in the Ukraine. He spit out their bones, and those bones grew boils and warts and grew into toads themselves. Do you remember? Of course you do. It was all over the news. Big story. And what about the television show host who was caught printing out pornography at a local public library last summer. Did that one really happen? Sir, 
we've talked about this. Did that really happen? Not in your life. It's a fake. Total fiction. It didn't happen. Not fact. I'm innocent. So, were you able to navigate through the waters of deception, find your way to the islands of truth? Sometimes the difference between the two can be so thin, it's not hard to see why we call our conclusions beyond believability. I'm Ryan Murphy. Good night. Join us for more stories, including the bowling trophy that could talk and the man who aged backwards. Next time on Beyond Believability, Fact or False. At 10, a close call. Two Bay State teens spent a bitterly cold night lost in the woods. The story's ending may surprise you.